What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World, and shout out to each and every one of you guys that wrote super fast in the previous video. You guys wanted this gameplay so bad, and you know we're going to bring it to you live and direct here at GMI's World, so thank you for that. Hopefully, you and your families, your loved ones are safe, and you're going ahead and making, you know, making sure you're staying home and trying to help this all get, you know, squared away. So pretty much what was just going on right there, I just wanted to give you guys a snippet of what was on him. The human joystick, the, you know, the outside zone guru, the inside zone guru, um, evasive, all those things like that. What we're doing right now is we're actually putting him in on uh, special teams because one of the things that you're going to learn about uh, human joystick, if you guys have not dabbled with it with Tyreek Hill, you know, Josh Cribbs or whoever, um, it makes your players so easy to manipulate and move around and adjust and it's just on the fly. There's no need to release turbo, but you have to be careful because if you meet somebody that has pretty good user skill, you're going to get hit sticked into another world and you can possibly fumble. So I just want to make sure you guys are aware of that. So what we did with this gameplay that you're going to be witnessing right now, we're going to actually take abilities off of Aaron Rodgers and go in there with two running backs, like the old school G Myers world. You know what I'm saying? Like how you know how we used to go out there, run the ball every single snap. I didn't really want to do it every snap because, you know, I was just going to run around and see how he felt because this was my first actual game with him, you know, in the you know, actually the first game, weekend league, we about to go in there, see what it's all about. So I was like really excited, like, yo, whoever I get, them dudes about to get a full dose. And then it turns out that it got even more crazy than I ever thought it would. I know you guys are looking at the title, like 568 yards, 11 touchdowns. Yeah, 209 points. All right, in this one game, I'm going to score 209 points. Now, let me just explain a couple things that's going to happen in this game. When you play certain people and you start to dominate them, usually in the older Maddens, there were ways to like disconnect the game and they would never get caught. And, you know, once they started losing, they would do stupidness. All of us have been through there. If you've been playing Madden for a while, all of us have dealt with that. That person that'll start coming out, taking knees, you know, fake hiking, all that stuff like that. They either do that to disconnect the game or they just give up completely. So the game starts off pretty well. I'm like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Dude comes out. He's running tight offset. I'm like, all right, we got the D for that. So I'm not worried about it. You know what I'm saying? All right, if he keeps doing that, pretty much if he keeps doing that, he's going to lose the game. So I know that because I lab my defense specifically because this used to give me a lot of issues, which is why I got out of the nickel double A gap. Because there's something about the double A gap that doesn't allow the players to do what they're supposed to do. Right there, he gets hit stick immediately and doesn't fumble. And the biggest issue about it, so you guys understand, right here, I didn't sub him out. And that was my mistake. So he was pretty tired. I put Eric Dickerson in for a play. Right here, it's fourth down. He comes out running the, uh, the nickel 245 odd. We beat him over the top. Whatever. Just remember, a lot of people that you play are going to run that 245 odd. And I'm going to show you what happens in this gameplay again. I try to show it to you, even though I know what's going to happen. Uh, your quarterback's going to get sacked. Right there, he just runs right into a hit stick. We're going to go for six. Not a big deal. Business as usual. But getting back to the 245 odd, just be very, very careful with that. Because if you run out of like I pro, strong pro, any, any kind of pro, you're going to probably get your quarterbacks just mauled. All right? And sometimes they'll fumble. So what I'm going to need all of you guys to do that are watching the video is I'm going to need you guys to run out of heavier sets. Once you see them, you know, running that bench blitz out of 245 odd, just go ahead and simply run from heavy sets. Strong wing, eye wing, whatever, eye tight. I, I don't care what it is. That will prevent you from getting sacked in the backfield and getting dominated. And I don't think, for those of you guys that are, uh, you know, wondering about it as we pick this ball up and, and go to go pick his moms up, um, I don't think EA Sports is going to patch that. Um, is it possible that they could? Yeah, but I think it'll require a little bit more than what EA is willing to do right now. So if it's not something that's, you know, a major glaring thing, um, I don't think that it's gonna be patched. So you guys are just gonna have to run heavy sets and just know what's coming and be ready for that. And that's pretty much it. So you can see right now, it's, it's pretty simple, 28-0. You're probably like, yo, I'm four minutes into the video. It's no way this guy scores 209 points. It doesn't make sense. Why would a guy be able to score that many points? Well, what's starting to happen right now is first of all, he gets the message, all right? So impressive performance, great. I'm starting to realize how to use Barry Sanders at this point. Because like, I haven't had, obviously right there, that's what happens with two, four, five odd. If you run regular under center runs, I tried it again out of the same thing. And then I went to a heavy set and then, you know, pretty much voila, we're gonna break a couple tackles. We're gonna go for six. Now that was I wing, all right? Uh, strong wing, same thing. You'll be able to get the same kind of thing if they come out in two, four, five. Another pro tip that you guys need to know, why did I just run right past him like that? When they come out, 
flip your play. If they don't flip their play with the 245 odd, it usually goes for six. Just so you guys are aware of it. Right here, this is where he starts to go crazy. At this point, he knew the game was over. And if you go back to the beginning of the video, you know, he puts his mic on to kind of talk. I don't speak to anyone when I play my games. Um, you know, it just doesn't work out for me to do that uh, because of things that have happened in the past. So I don't, I don't hear you and I don't speak to you, okay, unless I know you prior. Like there's only been a few, a handful of people that I've known for a while that I'll get on the mic with and actually talk to. So this guy probably, you know, he knew who I was. He thought he was going to be able to, you know, talk to me a little bit, but I'm not really um, going to be dealing with that at this point. Like I said, pick me off real quick. It's all good. So I don't know if that's the reason that he stayed with the game. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, yes, I've beaten people very, very badly. And I myself has have been beaten badly, but never like this. Like this was a new craziness because look, it's still second quarter. This, ah, bro, what the? Okay, now look, I don't know exactly why that happened, but it started to happen more often when I played more games with Barry afterwards. Just so that, I, I don't know what makes the, uh, the you know, cause he was clicked onto that player and the guy just flew to the side. Maybe he dived, but the animation came right after the actual juke. So I'm not really sure exactly why it happened. Right here, he just goes crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, obviously somebody gonna come and take care of him, but he knew that the game was pretty much over. Um, once he got the message and it was 28 zip, he kind of knew it was over. ED was like, yo, can I get a little bit of action, g -Maya? Like I work hard too. I was your work horse before Barry Sanders with human joystick. And he's right. So we go ahead and give him a little bit of action. Right here, he actually tries to run a play. He sacked instantly. Um, I really don't know what he was doing after that because he's running around with Barry Sanders without abilities, running two, four, five odd. Like I, I didn't really know exactly what his game plan was but I knew what our game plan was. Complete domination. Right there, he just falls on the ground. All right, that's cool. Barry's just gonna go ahead and take it for six. Now remember, everything around human joystick revolves around stick skill, okay? So everybody can use it because you just wanna wiggle around and do weird stuff, but just remember what I'm telling you. If you get lined up for a big hit, you are going to fumble the ball. So understand, all right, calm down, John Madden. You, you gotta understand something. With the way everything works within the game, just don't get too caught up in the fact of thinking that you could just wiggle through every little hole. So this is what he started to do. Um, you know, every every play uh, that he got the ball kicked off to him, he started to play around in the end zone. Right here, he tries to go ahead and do an RPO. It wasn't working for him. He finally runs it off right here, running backwards, doing more stuff. He fumbles again. So pretty much what's happening, happening is he's getting beaten to submission. Um, whenever you get somebody that dominates you like this, you should not react like this. Like, you know, pretty much you should always be trying to score. Um, I know you know the game is over, and a lot of people do this, and it's like, they, you know, like, oh, it's funny, like, you know, but it's really not, though. You know what I'm saying? Because all you're doing, like, you were going to get dominated regard. Go to the locker room. I'm, I'm going to meet you in the locker room. You were going to get dominated regardless, but for you to do it in this fashion is really, really just ridiculous. It just makes no sense. Oh, whoa! Okay, so you see those kind of cuts? As, okay, he's look, look, he, bro, this dude, like, he doesn't even care anymore, man. Yo, this guy right here, you, you know, like, I, I don't know what to say about him, man. Like, it was, I, I know it was tough, you know, because when, you, when you're getting beat that bad that you feel that you have to do this, I can kind of understand, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, you, you just give up, like, all hope, man. But you can't go out like that, man. Like, like the beatings are wild. You know, we're not going to stop scoring, though. You already know, like I told you guys, when dudes start doing stuff like this, you got to make sure that they understand. It doesn't matter that, you know, they think it's funny or whatever. You got to continue to be dominant. So, you know, this guy, I, I guess, you know, he's like, yo, I'm going to lose the game anyway. I might as well go out with style, you know, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and run around in, in, in the end zone, uh, get dominated, you know, just do whatever I possibly can as everybody tries to hit stick him and everybody misses. Um, it, it's, it's a very, very ridiculous thing, man, but that's what they do. Uh, you know, yo, yo, dot me then. Oh, we're going to pick it off? All right, cool. So... My whole objective after everything else that he was doing was just to simply make sure he didn't score. I didn't even care that I had 150 points at this point. I just didn't want him to score off any kind of fluke because that's usually what happens. And what most people do is they do all of this. And then back in the day when they were doing this, they would wait all the way to the end and then they would disconnect the game somehow. You would get a loss even though you had to win. They would have a negative win streak and be a top 100 player. I know you guys remember all that stuff, but fortunately for us, what happens now is this, EA Sports, you can now be reported for disconnects and it can be investigated. Not all disconnects are real disconnects though. You know, sometimes it's not. 
Um, so you could always, you know, request, you know, somebody investigates it. You know, I helped you guys out a lot throughout this year. Shout out to EA Sports and that whole um, connectivity team that helps us out with that. But they're able to determine that people are actually DC in the game and those people are usually dealt with accordingly. Uh, you know, so it is what it is. But the bottom line about everything else that's going on is Barry Sanders was just outrageous this entire game. Like, I don't know if you guys are paying attention to all that or you just like, oh my goodness, look at the score. But Barry was moving like nobody's business, bro. Like he was really just doing whatever he wanted. And it was really, really crazy. And I really like enjoyed the way he, like the way he moves around. Like it really makes the game fun. Now, he hasn't fumbled yet. I don't know if he'll start fumbling, but like I said, I do my best to kind of avoid, you know, having to deal with that whole situation of getting lined up for a hit stick. You know, this guy's running backwards for safeties. He's doing whatever he wants, man. Um, you know, somebody needs to check on this guy after this game. I, I didn't really even want to score anymore though, but you know, it was like, whatever, man, we're so close to 200, we might as well go ahead and score. And then he's still doing the same stuff. And again, this guy probably wins a decent amount of games, but um, you know, just unfortunately for him, it wasn't his time, man. It just wasn't his time to win this one. That's pretty much what it was. So what am I doing a bit? What, what's going on right here? What's the, why did I do all that? I don't even know what's going on. Why did I just do that? I, I really don't even understand what's going on. How did I get 209 though? Do I get a safety here? I guess I probably, oh, he runs back and gets a safety. And then I didn't want to score anymore. It's like, all right, bro. You're like, are we going to really try to hit 300? Like, you know, it's a minute left. We're not going to hit 300. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Uh, okay, yes, get, regain your balance. There you go. Get a first down. Good job, man. But that's pretty much the way it's going to go. We scored 209 points, guys. This is a record high. I think in a realistic game through all my years of Madden, the most I've ever scored is about 115 when a guy stayed for the entire beating. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Let me know, are you enjoying Barry Sanders right now? Like, is he really, really that good for you? Is he a good player? Um, do you enjoy the human joystick? Give me all those details. Leave it in the comments below. Just remember, stay home, stay safe, help save lives, wash your hands, take care of yourselves and family. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.